I have a very, very big decision to make. I am here in my house with Ashley. So on YouTube, you guys haven't met Ashley yet. Ashley is an amazing woman who's helping me build my house. And we are actually here in the, um, in the foundation. We're actually in the, in the patio area right now. And uh, yeah, I've got a really big decision to make. So Ashley, tell them, what is my decision? Yeah, this is some big stuff, everybody. So basically, you know, the vision for the house is a two-story space with this large outdoor porch on the first story. Um, and then the second story was gonna be the entire footprint of both porch and the downstairs interior space. And <clears throat> we've been playing and kind of questioning a lot recently around like, okay, what is best for this moment in life for you, Ava? And um, the choice is, do we do the upstairs as well or do we just do the downstairs and keep it really simple? And since the beginning of the project, Ava's been playing with this idea of like, yeah, we'll do a small home and then we'll do my forever home later. And then the small home, what happened to the small it, it home? Kept getting, it kept getting, grew. it kept getting more complicated. <laughs> it did. And more of your desires were wanting to be met and fulfilled. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we've kind of been playing with this back and forth experience of being like, do we do the big home or do we do the small home? Yeah. So, um, I mentioned before that I was in a different financial um, stage before than I am now. And so I'm having to really, yeah, ask myself these questions of like, what do I really need? What do I really want? What can I really afford? And uh, I came here to the house today actually to see the progress on the walls and to make some decisions about where the windows are going to go. And that's when, you know, standing in the space, I'm going to take them inside, Span standing in the space. We got Mr. Frank, we got Miss Stella. Uh, the question came up of... Uh, um, maybe this is just the house itself. Maybe just this, this space here. Like it's still a good sized space. You know, originally we were planning on putting stairs here and then it was going to lead to the bedroom upstairs. But you know, what if this was the bedroom here and then this was the desk area and I still have this whole side is like kitchen magic and cabinets and my my oven over there and a sink with a big round window and a little pantry here and this is here a little like entry nook with a bench and and a little closet and some you know hangers so yeah so i'm really having to yeah really just make a, a big choice is is this is do i continue with the bigger vision or am i i'm kind of being for and i almost feel like that's kind of a theme right now is like i'm kind of being forced to simplify my life yeah. um so let me also just show you uh, and look how how far they've gotten on the walls. And you said this was two two days, two and a half days, two and a half days of work. So this is not what the final walls are going to look like. Sometimes people um, they they deride me for my like mud hut that I'm building, and I just want to emphasize that this is going to look very different when it's done. Actually, can you can you tell them yeah. about like where we're at in the process and what's going to happen next? Yeah. So couple different things this is cob right so it's a mixture of clay sand and straw and this is a monolithic type of building structure so it's like this one whole cohesive thing and then after we make this one whole magical cohesive thing we cover it in something called plaster and there's lots of different types of plaster there's earthen plaster meaning clay based plasters lime plaster um, some people use cement plasters i wouldn't recommend that um, but yeah so then we put basically the icing on the cake and that kind of gives it this complete look, a beautiful visual aesthetic. Most of you have been in stuccoed homes. Stucco is a type of plaster, okay. right? So um, typically stucco is using some cement, but that gives you an idea of like, what is that? Um, and so right now the phase we're in is we move from the foundation to the wall system. So we created something called a bond beam to connect the foundation to the wall system that's above. And we're making the choices on magical windows right now where the views that we want to capture are mm -hmm. and how we're going to do that. And I what's going cool to record you in there because <laughs> you can't see spatially anything. <laughs> what's, what's really cool about, um, uh, what's really cool about doing it with these earthen materials is that we can create really natural shapes. So big rounded windows and curvy lines. I mean, you already see that the, the walls here are super curvy. I think you can, I think you can see that. Yeah. You can see the curve of that wall. Um, yeah, if you want to hold it, if you, if you hold I'm it like, here, I want to hold it for if you, you hold it you go here, over there. then I'll go over here, but you gotta, you gotta make sure. I, yeah. Whoop. Yeah. So, so yeah, so this is, this is going to be my kitchen here. 
So this is all counter space, which is amazing. And this will be where I cook. This is where I make my little cooking videos for you. And then, yeah, now the question is over here, is this going to be a bedroom space? Or is this gonna be, as the original plan was, it was gonna be kind of like a, like a built-in little nook um, where I would have like, you know, dinner with friends. So I'd be foregoing like a dinner table, a dinner nook kind of table um and instead turning that into a bedroom and outside though we have this is going to be like a patio porch space like with a wooden floor so we can still get a nook like if we put a nook we could build in some like a, a built-in couch area here so if i wanted to you know have if i wanted to chill out have a meal with friends i could i could do it here and then over here um originally there was going to be a bathroom upstairs but now it looks like um, the only bathroom would be out here. So we still need to make some decisions about that. And yeah. Yeah. So, so it's an interesting, thank you. It's a, mm -hmm. it's an interesting quandary. It's an interesting process. I'm really grateful working with you because you make me feel really safe to change things Yeah. and you don't get upset and you don't go, Oh, this is so inconvenient and blah, blah, blah. Like it's a, it's a really nice feeling to just to feel so supported in this process. Mm. Yeah, that just it's it's okay to be really human and it's okay to make changes and it's okay not to know and it's yeah, it just And that's critical because you remember what your dream was at the beginning? Like, uh, like the a huge start? like a like a, 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 a huge <laughs> retreat center and school and all these different buildings and so many different things and super complicated. Super complicated but also like super expensive, mm -hmm. super long process. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking years of building. And one of the things that I feel like when I'm working with clients and working with you is such a great example of this is like a big portion of my work is helping peel off the layers of what you think you want and getting down to the core of, okay, what do you want okay. right now? And how does that also match up with what your needs are? You know, beyond just like, um, beyond what you think they are in your mind. Mm -hmm. Like, what is the body feeling? And that? I would admit that a lot of those ideas that I had were also influenced by other people saying, oh, you should do this. No, you should do this. Oh, no, you can make money doing this. And it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. And I'm naturally wanting to um, take care of others. And, okay, yes, I'll do this thing and I'll make it for everybody else. And, uh, and it's, yeah, it's, it actually has been a really powerful process to come back and be like, oh, no, 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 this is for me. Like, what, what do I actually really want and need? It, when I when I stop trying to just take care of everybody else, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't mean we don't care for others. No, there's, there's always a place for that, but we have. But to we're trying to fill your cup first, yeah. especially with your relationship to home, right? Mm -hmm. Like these are huge questions. What does home mean to us? What do I need in a home? How do I feel safe? How do I feel nourished? And if we're not working on that kind of almost like the parasympathetic aspect of our life, like this rooted aspect of self. We can't just go out and do things and serve other beings. Or we can, but we might not Different do experience. that from the most nourished place. Yeah, and I'm glad you said nourished. And that was literally the word I was just thinking. It's just like my, and even my priority now that I've been learning through this kind of difficult time is like, I just need to nourish myself because when I am nourished and my cup is full, I can handle all the things. I can handle all the challenges. Mm -hmm. I can, I can, I can do it if I'm well, right? And so I just need to make sure that I'm doing those practices, like waking up early, doing my yoga, my meditation, making my bone broth, like drinking my bone broth, like just making sure I'm eating really well and taking care of myself because then, then I can show up. Then I can, I have the energy to help others. Like, mm -hmm. like that big fundraiser we did yesterday for the, for the kids charity, it turned out so well. And that was also because I was, I was managing my energy during the day and I was taking breaks and I did meditate and break and if I just pushed myself, I don't think I would have been able to be be such a, a useful member on the team as well. Yeah. You know, so. Totally. So, okay, guys. Big well, choices. Big choices to make. I'm going to sit with it. So, this is this is where the kitchen is going to be. And you can kind of see. Oh, there's Mr. Fievel. Fievel's been having fun. So, I mean, this is this is not this is not a, a bad size for, for a little house, you know, for, for one person. But. I think that's also part of the consideration is like, yeah, okay, this is def I don't think this is like a family house, but it was never really designed to be that. I mean, I think there was kind of like a, like a hope that like, you know, may maybe this could be a family house, but if I really simplify it, it's like really, really simplified, but maybe that's good. Maybe that's part of the lesson right now. What do you think, Fievel? He says, I like mud. You having fun? Hi. Hi, honey. I love you.
I love you. Such a good boy. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. There, here's what, what, what it's looking like now, and we'll see what it will be looking like later. So, what would you do if it was your house? What would, whoa, hello. What would you do? Oh my gosh. Hi. I'd play, Mom. I'd play. <laughs> I'd play. Let's play. Thank God okay. That's what we do. Yeah. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. See you soon.